This is not the news. I'm G, your host. Almost. Done. Almost. I'm going to get that sucker yet, you know. And uh, we got some news. Uh, this was a long, long time ago. A guy named Arthur Ashe. This is him right here. He was a tennis pro. And he was on top of his game in 1968. Let's see if we can find some news here somewhere. Uh, here we go, yeah. We got some news. Arthur Ashe. Okay. He graduated from UCLA in 1966. He was six foot one and 155 pounds. Let me see. Yep. I weigh about 75 pounds more than him. <laughs> but he plays tennis all the time. He's always running. Run, 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 run. So he got hungry. So he was thinking during one of his competitions, he got hungry during the game. And he was thinking about a steak and rice and iced tea. So his mind wasn't on the game. So his coach said, you got, you got to quit thinking about stuff like that. You got to really get your mind on the game. And so when he, you know, when he stopped with his stupid shots and then he inserted himself, and then he started winning games. Now, when I'm being intimate with my girlfriend, and I'm not, and I'm thinking about chicken and rice and iced tea, and when I change my mind, it's like, oh, I got a gold star. <laughs> oh, baby. So, onward to more news. Arthur Ashe. Arthur Ashe was 1968 at the top of his game, winning contests, championships, everything else. So now we're moving on to a man named D.B. Cooper. Now, before you do some toasting, you know, I have to make sure they haven't got my news hidden from other people trying to find my news. Here we go, right here. I don't want to toast my news yet. <laughs> so, 1971, uh, D.B. Cooper got on an airlines, uh, was the Orient, Northwest Orient Express, and he was headed to Portland to Seattle, from Portland to Seattle. So, they landed, if I'm not mistaken, they landed in Seattle. And, and they, uh, D.B. Cooper said, look, I got a bomb on board. I want some ransom money, $200,000. And they got, he got the money up front. And then they took off. They uh, got in the plane and took off. And in the middle of the flight, he had a, uh, a parachute on the back. You know, everybody's got to bring their own parachute when they go on airlines, don't you know that by now? <laughs> so he uh, he jumped out of the plane over Southwest Washington, you know. And you're not going to find this guy after 66 years. Along a uh, this little eight-year-old kid found three packets of money still in plastic and all. Uh, washed up on the shore of a river. Hey, it's like it's like many years after that. 1980. That was many years after that, from 1971 to 1980. So somehow he lost some of that money. And uh, you know what? I, I, did, I didn't get to see any of that money. <laughs> None of it! No! You know, if I did, then the government would be coming after my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to more news. I got some news now for you car lovers. So, back in 1969, the good year. So, take a look. Take a look. 
This is a Plymouth Fury, 1969. Now, what they did back then, they had bench seats. They don't, they don't have uh, separate seats like we have today, with a console in the middle and all. So it was nice and easy dating back then, with your girlfriend, your hot date. And take a look at the bench seat. See, uh, see, where's that bench seat at? See, where's it at? Where's that? Where's that? There we go. There's the bench seat right there. See, you got right there. What that's showing you, there was uh, uh, three inches more room in the front area and three and a half inches more in the back. So if you didn't have enough room in the front, you got more room in the back, jump in the back seat. So with a split, the bench seat split from 60% uh, of it was for the driver and the other 30%, 30 and 60 is 90. 10% has gone somewhere. My fingers just don't go that far. <laughs> so the passenger seat went all the way back. So if you wanted to stop, and your girlfriend put that seat all the way back, it's like she wanted to see some stars. Oh yeah, she saw some stars, you know. It's like, uh, no more bench, I, I keep believing, no more bench seats these days at all. Oh, what happened, what happened? <laughs> you know what, that's my news for today. Guess what, guess what, read my lips, meow. <laughs>